Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Jennifer and Diamonds. I am Jennifer. If you are new here, welcome on in and I hope you enjoy your stay. So today we are doing a wooden chat. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to go. <laughs> we will see. I have some notes and stuff, and stuff to talk about but it could be a short one, it could be a long one, it depends on how much I ramble. So if you are new and don't know what a whipping chat is, WIP stands for work in progress, which is I'm currently working on this uh, make market pumpkin kit for Halloween. Um, and then chat, we're just going to chat. So while you're listening, you can just listen. You can work on a diamond painting or any other craft. You could, you know, do some chores or whatever you feel like. Um, so first we're going to go over stuff that I'm using tonight, which is some new things from last time. Um, cause I did do, um, a um, small shop haul, so I'm using some of those stuff today, but okay. So we're using my usual art dot storage kit. Um, it's just, it's the 30 bottle one. Um, the putty that I'm using is caramel pumpkin. And this is from creations Marin. Um, I actually got this from another lady, but the creation Marin is the one that makes it. Oh, I remembered I was going to clean up my pen. So while I show you my pen, actually I'll do this in a second. I'll clean it out in a second. Um, this is the pen I'm using. It's uh, just a pen I got from Timu. It has um, metal tips. They look like rose gold, or not rose gold, but they look nice and pretty. So I have a single placer and a three placer. The tray I'm using is from MMA Print Shop. Um, like I said, I did a small shop haul earlier earlier this week um, showing this. So this is a neon orange one. I'm still getting used to it. I think I figured out the trick for it. Um, my cover minder here is um, from Monarch. Designs YEG, so like a pumpkin unicorn one. It's a uh, small shop on Etsy. This is a small shop on Etsy as well. Um, and then this is a pen I just use to help move things around, but it's this tip is very good for ABs. Um, it's the best way I've seen to do ABs so far, <laughs> for me anyway. Um, and then I got tweezers just in case I need to, well, I'm going to use it in a second to clean out my pen, but just in case I need to like pick off some drills, this, these, um, oh, this pen, this pen here with the tip that I like for EBs is from Dreamer Designs. This, um, these tweezers are also from Dreamer Designs and then the wax that I'm using is just some I have left over from Dreamer Design, Dreamer's Designs as well. Um, so I will put links to the small shops um so creations more in for the putty um mma print shop for the tray and monarch designs yeg for the cover binder um second I'm just trying to get the because i wanted to change the putty out it's been a little while since i changed it out I figured why not we'll do it tonight and I meant to clean it up before we started but I forgot so it's gonna be a second here while I try to do that he's good enough okay so um yeah so like I was saying I was gonna I'll put links to the Etsy small shops for the putty the tray and the cover minder monarch designs also does I believe they do I always forget what they do. They do pens, I think. Let's see. Yeah, they do special drills, diamond art pens, at least a couple of them, cover minders, and then they also do stuff for other crafts as well. Looks like they have some seam rippers, bottle stoppers, crochet hooks, that kind of thing. Okay. I'm actually kind of in the dark tonight, except for the light that's on my, from my ring light. I decided to try the different lighting. And I also turned on the autofocus, because I usually have it off because it tends to, 
and zoom in and out. Try to focus constantly, but we'll see if it works tonight. Hopefully it's not too annoying. Um, okay, so we got the putty in there. Let's just top up our wax while we're doing this. Um, so nothing, not much happened with me this week. Usual work, family stuff. Um, so yeah, so not much there. Let me see. What do I got for notes here? Let me see if I can put this over here so it's closer. I can actually see. Oh, right. Monday. I think I mentioned last whip and chat. I ordered the... Uh, Diamond Art Club mystery box. Um, so I received that on um, on Monday. Um, so I got five kits, and I'm pretty happy with what I got. I got um, Thor. So uh, what is it? God of Thunder. I don't know. Where, I'm getting this dinging sound on my computer. I'm not sure where it's from. Um, yeah, so I got God of War, I got a Batman, which I clued in later in the week. I don't know why I didn't clue in right away, but, um, it's actually a Mandy Manzano. Like, it doesn't say that, because it's licensed through DC, but it is, a uh, Mandy Manzano is the one that did the art. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Eh, it's good enough. Um, what else did I get? I got, I'm trying to remember exactly what I got now. <laughs> Let me see. I got a picture of it on my phone. Um, yeah, my memory is not the greatest for these things. Here we go. Okay. So, oh, right. I got the pride words, which I'm actually happy about because, um, I actually had it on my wish list at one point. I was thinking of getting, okay, I don't think this lighting is gonna work for me. No, okay, just one second. I need to turn the light on because as soon as I move my hand, I block the light from the ring light. Okay, yeah, this is much better. Something, I was trying something new, but it's not gonna work. Okay, so I got, yeah, I got Thor, I got Batman, I got the Pride Words, I got the tie-dye uh, French Bulldog, which, out of all of them, it's probably my least favorite. I don't know. I just don't think it's something I would do. But I will probably do it. Actually, I do have it um, planned to do just as a filler. Something to do. Um, and then I also got Jojo Siwa. One of, I think that's how you say her name. One of her... Um, the one that's based off her diamond paintings. It's the one that says uh, Shine Your Light. Yeah, that one's okay. Out of the, the my two least favorites are the tie dye bulldog, French bulldog, and the Jojo Siwa. The other three I'm very happy with. I mean, there's lots of black between Batman. Well, there's a lot of black in the Batman. Um, Thor, there's a little bit of black, but there's more colors in there blues and whites and stuff so so yeah so I got that on Monday um, and I um, I had been thinking about maybe doing one of them next month but then I changed my mind on and decided on something else um, so here in Canada, today is what they call Truth and Reconciliation Day. So it has it's basically a day to basically stop and remember um, very tragic part of our Canadian history, which is not that old of history, um, where all the um, First Nations, which is what we call them, like Native children, 
were taken from their families and put in residential schools. And there was horrible, horrible things that happened in those residential schools. Um, the only reason why I mention that is my daughter um, at school, one of the classes she's taking is Indigenous Studies. Um, she's really enjoying it. Um, it is being taught by um, an indigenous person, so that is pretty cool. It's always, I mean, it's always weird when you have like a class like that and then it's not somebody from that culture teaching it. Um, I think it's just better when it's somebody actually from that culture teaching about the culture. Um, so they've been doing things basically since um, school started that had to do with getting ready for Truth and Reconciliation Day this week. And one of the things was um, a lot of the schools in the area um, did it where they, um, the color they use for Truth and Reconciliation Day is like, well, close to this orange. Um, they have an orange shirt day. Um, I'm not, sh I'm not sure what the reasoning is behind orange. Maybe it's just bright, so like bring, you know, attention to what happened back then. And with these residential schools, one thing that just blows my mind is I don't remember he growing up hearing about these residential schools. And the last one of these residential schools that was closed was closed and I think it was 96 was which was the year after I graduated high school and I'm just like how did I not hear about these schools I don't remember ever hearing about these schools it's only been relatively recently that um, they really talked about these schools um, and what happened um, so like I said one of the things that um, they were doing at some of the uh, some of the schools around here well probably all across Canada was they took part of like a sidewalk or something in front of the school and they paint, painted it bright orange and then they had templates of these giant feathers that they made some sort of pattern with and um, made white flowers um, on top of this bright orange back like background um so because my daughter was in the indigenous studies class they had them doing it i guess and they had pictures taken so they could put it on you know put it on the um school website well it's actually like the the whole region's website there, or not website, Facebook page. And it, I follow it, so it came up and I'm looking and I'm like, hey, that looks like what Ellie, my daughter, had been talking about. Cause she had shown me pictures earlier in the week about what they were doing. And then I noticed there was a group shot, like a group picture, and I look and sure enough, there's my kid. And it was pajama day that day that they had finished this and then taken pictures. Um, so she's there in her pajamas, although well, most of them were. Um, but yeah, it was pretty cool. So I like shared that and so my parents could see and I'm like, look what your grandkid did. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. She was, I think she was pretty proud of the fact that, um, she was, um, in the picture. Um, so that was Wednesday where that showed up on their, uh, Facebook page. Um, let me see here. I'm just trying to figure out the next color. Um, nothing, like, nothing happened on Tuesday that noteworthy anyway. Um, Thursday... Um, my husband, I guess, is, he's been thinking about, can, we, I, I mentioned a couple times, we use, we use HelloFresh. I love HelloFresh. It's decent meals, healthy-ish, not the most healthy, I mean, there's a lot of carbs and stuff in it, a lot of potatoes and 
But I mean, it's relatively healthy. I mean, it's not like fast food or something. And it's their meals are fast to make. Um, and stuff like that. But I guess my husband has decided he needs a break from HelloFresh. So we, on Thursday, decided to cancel HelloFresh. So that means I get to meal plan again. Yay! Can you tell I'm excited? Right. And the reason why I'm not exactly excited is it's like pulling teeth with my kid and my husband to give me some good ideas for supper. And I'm putting these in the wrong ones, aren't I? Yep, okay, we need to go over here. So there is, one of the symbols on this can canvas is like three dots in like a triangle shape. And then another one is um, a percent sign. And for some reason, my mind mixes them up. I'm just going to make sure I put these on the right ones. Okay, that's T. That's not one of the ones I mean. This, this one? These ones are the wrong ones. Darn it. Okay. See, this is why I have my tweezers. <laughs> Making mistakes. Um, so yeah, so I mentioned before as well that we usually go grocery shopping on Saturdays. So even though we were doing HelloFresh, there were still things we picked up at the grocery store each week. But this week, we actually pick up stuff for meals this week. So I did figure out last night, okay, this is what we're going to do for meals this coming week. And... Like, oh, I was doing it down here. Okay. I thought I was doing it again. I'm like, no, no, no. Um, so, yeah. So, we went out today. We went grocery shopping. And uh, picked up, hopefully, food that we will enjoy for our suppers this week. Today, we had a nice roast. I mean, on weekends, I usually have to cook a meal or, or something anyway. Um, part of it is... Like usually either Friday or Saturday. Lately it's been Fridays we were doing takeout, which another is another thing that my husband wants to cut down on. I think he's just even I like sure it was only once a week we were getting fast food. I was getting kind of bored and stuff with takeout, even just the once a week. So it'll be nice to take a break from getting takeout once a week. I don't know. We'll see how it works because, like I said, I always, I, I'm not a fan of try, meal planning, especially trying to, if it was just me, it'd be fine because I just make whatever. But making food um, for like a family and trying to get stuff that like, everybody will eat without complaining, <laughs> that is another thing. Um, so yeah, so we're changing up and I'm going to, I'm probably going to miss HelloFresh. It's going to be hard to get used to having to meal plan and I mean, the other thing with me, uh, HelloFresh was everything was pretty much um, measured out. I mean, you still had to cut vegetables and and stuff, but I don't know. All I had to do was take a paper bag out of the fridge, which had all the ingredients except for the meat, all the spices, the vegetables, everything, um, and then just follow the directions. And the recipes were nice and quick. They were like half an hour, and supper would be on the table. And I don't know why, but when you're not doing stuff like that, it just takes longer. I mean, tonight's meal was longer, but that was because it was a roast. It was in the Instant Pot, and it is faster. You know, you, you think Instant Pot would be 
instant. Like, I mean, it is faster, but it's not like it's instant. It still took a couple hours between everything to get ready and on the table. Um, I don't know. Like I said, we will see how it goes because I was stressing out before, and that's one of the reasons why I really liked HelloFresh. Stressing out, trying to figure out what to make every week. And then making it, and hopefully everybody liked it kind of thing. Um, okay. Um, there's going to be a change to, I think I mentioned last week, some things I had planned coming up. That I was going to do like some canvases and stuff. So I think I had mentioned I was going to do after this Halloween kit, I was going to go back to the, I had a couple more um, snack size. I don't know what that dinging is. Snack size um, uh, Jammer's Designs kits I was going to work on. Um, but I realized like this kit is going to be done um, October 10th ish. Um, and one of well, actually, a couple of the events that I'm participating. So, I'm with these Halloween kits. I'm participating in three different events. I'm participating in drills and shows, which is no problem. Um, once I'm finished this kit, I can still participate in the um, weekly giveaways because they don't require you to post a pro progress picture. My other two events, though, to be able to qualified to get the re weekly rewards so the other two events are uh, diamond country fair and um fall dp along which is in one of the facebook groups i'm in and i really like that one because it is canadian based i mean it's not just for canadians but there is a lot of canadians in there it, the event is run by a canadian so a lot of the stuff that she gives away is from Canadian-based Etsy shops or Etsy dime painting businesses kind of stuff. So it's nice to see because shipping is a, a big, big thing with getting stuff in Canada, especially if outside of Canada. If this, the shipping costs and then possibility of um, Customs is always the well a lot of times is there and it's just It's a pain in the butt to order stuff outside of Canada sometimes so I like the fact that um, This event is kind of Canadian based um, So with those two events you have to post uh, progress pictures and once this is done there is no more progress so I'm like well I still want to especially the uh, fall DP along in that Canadian Facebook page um, I uh, I really wanted to participate more so I'm like what am I gonna do I need to find another kit that I can I can use so it is a fall how both of them are like fall Halloween themed events. Well, all three of them actually are. Um, and I'm like, I don't really have anything that's, you know, screams Halloween, not like pumpkins or the skull that I did before. So I know they're at least in a couple like drills and shows and stuff or like a couple of the events. I know for sure they had said that sunflowers would work and I'm like, there is a Diamond Art Club sunflower type picture that's on Amazon and it's only like Canadian, it's only like $27.30, somewhere, $27, $30, somewhere in there. Um, so I was going to ask, I, I was going to look at getting that, but my husband had, like after I got that mystery box, is like, okay, you get this mystery box, 
no more diamond paintings for the rest of the year kind of thing because like I've been spending a lot of money <laughs> at least for me I and mean, for some other people it's probably not but for me um yeah it's a decent amount of money um so I had greed and now I'm like oh, what am I gonna do I want to continue to participate in this Halloween events and stuff so I'm like well wait let's look in my stash and see if there is anything because I remembered I had those two um, superhero ones the Batman and the um, uh, Thor one so like maybe those work because you know Halloween costumes they you know kids dress up as superheroes um, so I had gotten pictures on my cell phone and I posted them in um, the one group for the fall DP along and I'm like explained okay so this the painting that I'm working on right now I'm going to be finished near the beginning of October and I still want to participate in the event would any of these kits work that are in my stash um, and I explained my reasoning right so I, I posted three so I posted two um, the two superhero ones and then I had a lily and I had looked it up because I remember in one of the groups someone had or the leader or the one that was running it said the lily would work and I never understood why and I'm like well, maybe it blooms in the fall so I looked it up and it it can bloom into the fall so I'm guessing that's why it was so I explained okay so the the reason why I was looking at the superhero ones was because you know Halloween costumes blah 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 and then I said for the lily according to Google apparently they can bloom into fall so that's my reasoning for these three kits and like would they work so the the one that's running the event said yeah yeah either one the superheroes or the flower would work and I'm like perfect and I'm thinking I'm leaning towards the flower actually I'm more than leaning towards I am probably gonna be doing the flower mostly because um, it is very colorful um, there's lots of uh, purples and it's just there's lots of color in it and I've been doing like a lot of black dark stuff so I didn't know if I wanted to do like a Batman I mean Thor might have worked but another thing was size the so the li the Lily one is Lily Lagoon from Dreamers Designs um it's like a 40 by 50 so it's close like pretty much the same size as the one I'm working on now um so I have like enough time to get it done by the um end of October whereas the superhero ones were bigger and sure I could get them done in the time that I have but I like doing like one um one section a day stretch it out because I know I've said this before and then now I have like a decent stash well it's I mean it's not a huge stash but it's a decent stash um, of kits and it's just like I like to spread things out a bit to make my stash last a little bit longer um, so yeah so I'm going to so I'm taking out the two um, snack size uh, dreamers designs kits off the schedule that I had for next month and I'm going to do um, the Lily Lagoon one instead so I can have more chances at the well at one because I I mean I wanted to continue to participate in the events and one of the reasons is the prizes it'd be nice to win something I haven't had any luck like I'm, I'm participating in three of these events and each one of them has like well in the fall dp along they have like eight prizes a week um drills and chills has well one week i think they had eight um but they have a fair bit each week 
And then the other one has a few chances each week. So I'm just like, and I've won nothing. <laughs> My luck is so bad. Oh well. Um, so as it stands right now, I'm going to finish this diamond painting near the beginning of October. Then I'm going to start Lily Lagoon. Um, and then near the end of the month, I'm actually going to be working on two diamond paintings at the same time. We'll see how that goes. Um, and the only reason I'm doing that is because um, one of them is going to be In the Arms of the Angel, the Mandy Manzano one that I got to make for my mom for Christmas. And that's why I'm doing two at the time because I want to get that one done so I can look at seeing if I can get Michaels to frame it for me because it's an unusual size and what the heck. So it's like notifications on my computer that's making that dinging sound. Um, it's driving me nuts. I don't even have my heads on, I can hear it. Um, so yeah. Um, as for video wise, for this coming week, um, I have this one that you're watching right now. Obviously, it came out. I'm filming it on Saturday, but it will come out on Sunday. Um, then I'll have my. Um, I'll be filming my month in review tomorrow. And that will come out on Monday. Well, tomorrow as in Sunday. And then it'll come out on Monday. Um, and then sometime during the week, I am going to film an unboxing of the Lily Lagoon. Um, but that won't actually come out until the following week. Um, but I'm going to film it ahead of time because um, next weekend... I'll be going to my parents because it is Canadian Thanksgiving next weekend. So the plan is to go to my parents on Sunday morning. We'll have Thanksgiving probably that afternoon, evening, probably afternoon. For some reason, Thanksgiving dinner always takes place like mid-afternoon. Um, so that is the plan right now. Um, we will see if I will get a whip and chat out next weekend. We'll see how busy I am because of Thanksgiving. Um, yeah. So it has been getting cooler here. I say that as I sit here sweating in my office because it's warm right now but it was cooling down which makes it so my dog wants to be outside because he just likes to lay down on the deck because it's cooler out there um so that's why there are a couple times this week where i would let him out and instead of him coming right back in or whatever or shortly after i let him out he just lay down on a deck and survey survey all the backyards it's really funny to watch him lying there. Um, but there was also a couple of days this week where I woke up and it was cold. Like we put our uh, comforter back on our bed. We had it off pretty much the whole summer because it was so warm at night and I didn't want anything on. No sheets, nothing on. And I had fans going and... Um, but... There was, but we put like this past week, we put our comforter back on. Although there's been a couple times where I've kind of like thrown it off because it had, I don't know, the weather's all over the place. It gets warm, it gets cold, but at night it usually gets like pretty cold. But by the afternoon, it's like in the 20s Celsius. Um, just pretty warm for this time of year. Um, and that's also confusing my 
my kid she doesn't know what to wear because in the morning she's freezing so she's but by the afternoon she gets home and she's like i'm so hot because she's like dressed for the cold or like cooler weather um yeah it's kind of funny this week diamond art club released 15 um halloween kits this week oh, i wish i had, like, had unlimited money so i can get some of these kits like i'm like like i mentioned before on a no buy <laughs> because i've been kind of overspending lately um so i couldn't get any of the halloween kits there is a couple i put on my wish list like two or three of them oh like the ha haunted house ones that was gonna drive me nuts i need to figure out how to turn that dinging off um i'm not sure if you're hearing it because i think i might have the desktop noises muted on my recording thing you're probably wondering why, why i'm talking about if you can't hear it um so yeah so the three that I, i'm pretty sure it was three that i put on my wish list they're all haunted house themed ones um why is this not going in there we go so maybe but they're all like the higher end prices because they're all bigger ones there's one that's a, a spangler one it's like a big house and it has like people trick-or-treating and a couple of his little dragon link dragon link trick-or-treating it's so cute um let's see i need another color um and then there was like there was one where it's like there's a house in the background and then there's like a pumpkin patch and like ghosty things in the foreground like i said all three of them are like haunted house type theme or like big house trick or treaty kind of thing I think with the weather changes it's making me slightly sick um that's about it this is probably going to be a super short one there was one other thing that I don't know I, I noticed on I saw a Briefly, I didn't watch the whole thing, but there was like a TikTok that I saw on it. Um, then some another um, another diamond painting uh, content creator that I watch mentioned it. Um, there's some drama going on apparently with Timu. Um, Apparently there's been a lot of complaints about people not receiving what they thought they were going to receive or not receiving anything at all. Like they didn't get their orders. I have ordered twice from Timu and I've had absolutely no problems. I've gotten what I thought I was getting and it came within like a week, maybe just over a week of me ordering. I, like they all came. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I think there's some other issues because it is a Chinese com uh, company, so I think there is some other other issues um, going on. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I've I've not had any personally. I haven't had any issues with Timo. I think it's a good way to get some things. I mean. I mentioned in my um, unbegging thing that I did a while ago um, that I wouldn't get diamond paintings from them unless they were like um, stuff that's in the public domain like um, old master type things something that you know that is not because there's probably going to be a lot of stolen art and that's kind of a thing with uh what they call budget friendly kits and because the reason why they're so budget budget friendly is a lot of it's stolen art they're not having to pay 
the artist because they stole it or it, I mean some of it's probably public domain stuff that you don't need licenses for but there's going to be stuff in there that is stolen so I don't want to risk it so I know that the old master stuff is public domain so that's the only stuff I would uh, for sure get from Timu or any other um, discount place for diamond paintings. Um, I, I just wanted to mention the Timu thing because I have bought from them and I have done a video of what I bought from them before. Like I, I didn't watch the whole TikTok that I saw, which was a like a clip I think from a news um story. I don't know. I wasn't too concerned about it, I guess. So I think that is about it for tonight for me chattering away. I went longer than I thought. There wasn't too much too interesting, I guess, but I like to check in once a week just to give updates on what's been going on or like changes to what's coming up on the channel like today, stuff like that. Um, so in the comments let me know how your week was. Has anything interesting happened? What are you working on? What did you work on or did or not do <laughs> while you're listening to me tonight or today whenever you're listening? Let me know in the comments. Um, so if you like the video, make sure you give a thumbs up. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified of future videos. And I will see you next time. Bye.